You got to turn the page pretty quickly. So um, you know, then you watch Edinburgh. How they're going to go against Cardiff, and you know, you just know in the way Cockers like sets his teams up. Um, they're very abrasive, very aggressive around the rook. Um, you know, they'll always have a strong set piece with Cockers because um, he focuses so much attention on it. Um, but they've got strong attack as well. You know, Duncan Hodge, very good attack coach. Um, you know, some decent threat. Like they've got good experience if you think Nick Room at nine, um the two tens are obviously Van der Volt and uh, Hickey. Uh, like Van der Merve on the wing is very, very strong. Uh, good centres, Bennett, Scott, whoever they play and you know, they've other guys that have, have pace, you know, Hoyland, um, Dougie Five, whoever else they pick. Um so you know, they've a ton of experience and they're a real tricky team to come up against at this time of year because um even though they're missing some forwards, they have they have really strong depth, I think, Edinburgh. Um so you know our guys need to make sure we're nice and clear on what it is we need to do this week because you know last week was, was great at the time and it's well and truly over this stage so um try and prepare as well as we possibly can and off we go again um told me to go crowd the rds so hopefully we can build on those pieces as well um but you know the guys know our guys know like the you know we talked about leading into it probably last week is the window that the chance that they have at this point of the season um you know we're we have a week off now next week, so no game. You know we'll wait and see what unfolds at the World Cup and how that develops. Um, but for our guys now, like they like you know some guys have obviously put their hand up and gone very well, um, and then we're just you know, it's really simple like we're just making assessments on what we see um, at training, obviously on the particularly on game day. But you know we see a lot of those behaviours on the training field anyway, so. Um, just want to see those same positive traits from guys and hopefully they go well and we'll reward the people that are showing the best. See over the course of pre-season um, you know we, we you know try to get as big a squad as you can get your hands on really with the, not sure how many guys we're going to be missing so um, or we 17 originally gets cut down to 14 that goes to World Cup so I wasn't sure exactly what that was going to look like um, in the early parts of pre-season. Um, but then the group at home worked really hard over the course of pre-season um, and it's because it's longer as well we were to get more able to get more work done um, and we've been pleased with the progress of the group like they're, they're, they've improved and come on um, so now we're in a reasonably healthy place and to credit to the backroom team as well because the profile in of the injury profile is generally pretty good um, we see a couple of back rowers down from last year Jack coming from the World Cup um, Barry Daly was unlucky with that knee injury that he got um, but other than that it hasn't been too bad obviously Ed as you mentioned but um, generally not too bad Kieran Frawley did his, that ankle as well but um, you know, overall it's, it's, it's been reasonably good